New findings from an investigation into a high-speed chase that ended in a deadly crash involving a Colorado Springs police officer. The district attorney has found that officer was justified when he tried to force that car off the road last April. It happened near the intersection of Bijou and Circle in East Colorado Springs as police pursued a pair of suspects accused of stealing a car at gunpoint. One of those suspects, 20-year-old Henry Jackson, died when the car rolled over and hit a pole. In its report, the DA's office said Officer Matt Anderson was justified in this case, pointing out that he had been authorized to perform the maneuver by his supervisor. It was also presumed at the time that the carjackers were armed. But the report does raise questions about the maneuver itself, saying both cards were going nearly 90 miles per hour at the moment of impact. Currently, there is no set speed that would prevent an officer from performing the maneuver. Here's what one retired law enforcement expert told us after that report was released. If there had been a policy that the TVI could not be done at the speeds uh, in which it was done in this particular case, there's no telling what risk the public would have been at from these two uh, wrongdoers who had already shown a proclivity for uh, violent crime. According to the report, trainees in Colorado Springs are instructed on the dangers of performing a pit maneuver at high speeds, but some risk is still allowed when the situation warrants it. A sad